Today we're going to be addressing one of the biggest copes when it comes to steroids, and man, this cope really is ridiculous. Steroids make you infertile. What was the point of all this now if you can't even have kids? This is almost the same level of brainless fear-mongering as those who say steroids shrink your dick. It's seriously absurd. So let's get into it. Steroids suppress your body's own hormone production, and they dramatically reduce sperm production while you're on them, yes. But does this usually mean permanent infertility? Well, let's take a look at the evidence, real clinical studies, and kill this myth once and for all. So when you take steroids like testosterone, your brain stops signaling the testicles to make steroids, blah, 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 blah. I think everyone knows this. And uh, temporarily, it can cause azoospermia, where you have a temporary absence of sperm. And this is essentially what a hormonal male contraceptive would do, which actually can be fairly convenient for some. But here's the key. In nearly all cases, this suppression is reversible. A review of recovery after anabolic steroids stopped found that sperm production usually recovers, but it may take a while, sometimes 4 to 30 months, and occasionally need treatment to help it along. So the initial drop in sperm does not equal permanent sterility, it's a suppression effect. There are clinical studies showing that most men recover sperm production after stopping steroids. One cohort study of men with steroid-induced azoospermia found that about 96% regained some fertility with HCG after cessation. Another recent study reports high rates of recovery of sperm parameters within a year after stopping testosterone or steroids, though full normalization can take longer. Clinically, most men attempting pregnancy post-steroid use were successful. In one observational cohort, 93% who tried to conceive within a year were able to do so, including men still actively on testosterone with appropriate support. These outcomes strongly suggest that while steroids impair fertility temporarily, permanent sterility is simply not normal. A broader study linking steroid use to birth rates found that fertility levels were reduced during use and for about a year after cessation, but uh, over longer follow-up, there was no lasting difference compared to control men who hadn't used steroids. And systematic reviews that show testosterone and anabolic steroid-induced infertility is reversible in most, if not all, cases even if it takes months or years for sperm counts to rebound. That means many men who worry they'll never come back simply just do over time. The reason infertility from steroids isn't permanent is because the underlying biology of sperm production is simply robust and regenerative. And on top of that, the medical therapies such as HCG, recombinant FSH, SERMs, HMG can significantly speed and improve recovery even after full suppression, and these will further reduce the likelihood of permanent sterility. So, in most if not all cases, sperm does return, and natural conception does become possible once again. And it's important to note that the majority of those studies didn't even include a proper fertility protocol like HCG, HMG, SERMs, recombinant FSH, uh, and they further decrease the likelihood of lasting infertility, as I said. So I gave a hypothetical scenario to AI about the probability of becoming permanently sterile even if you use an advanced uh, fertility protocol. GPT 5.2 said that after five years of taking 500 mg tests per week, the risk of permanent sterility would be less than 1%. Gemini 3 Pro said that after five to 10 years of 500 tests per week, the risk of permanent sterility would be below two to 5% with most of the exceptions having an underlying fertility problem to begin with. So I think that says loud and clear, the whole fertility thing is a complete fucking meme. It's a complete cope. We can take steroids for a decade straight and have pretty much no risk as long as we don't have some kind of predisposition that we could have checked out probably beforehand. So yeah, I would say if you have current safe, healthy fertility markers, you're probably going to be pretty much immune to permanent sterility especially if you're just taking tests for like five to ten years. So, as we can see, it's just one cope after another. Everyone wants to demonize tests because no one wants to see you ascended. No one wants to see you powerful, muscular, fucking mugging everyone. They want to keep you as a subhuman. So they're going to tell you that you wouldn't be able to have kids. But I guarantee you're going to have the best children you can hope for once you're ascended and you get the stasis of your dreams. Yeah, anyway, if you do want to ascend, obviously this was my transformation over the past few years and I've helped other people ascend and I can certainly help you ascend as well if you're ready to lock the fuck in. So you can join Androgenic Protocol and get tons of information on how to use performance enhancements, how to change your face, uh, train.
training, fitness, how to dial in longevity, health, youth, keep your skin and hair intact, etc. And if you want private coaching and you have more specific issues that you want dealt with, I also have that in the description. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, now you know that this was a complete cope. There'll be many more videos destroying copes very shortly. Have a good one.